today and I need to talk about a video I came across from a user and I can't, sorry if I forgot your name. Basically she claimed uh, Jake Paul had hacked her. Now, this isn't the case. What happened was, she went on FanJoy, which is a merchandising website that Jake Paul uses to process payments of merchandise. And basically, she put loads of stuff in the cart and if you know this, right, you go on any merchandise, near enough all of them have this thing. If you leave stuff in the cart, you'll get emails going, have you forgot something? Have you forgot something? Um, basically, it's a, a tactic to say, like, oh, they've left it in there, but if we offer them a code, they may purchase. Now, but in this instance, what happened was she left the site and then she gets a Facebook message, okay? And her partner demonstrated he got the same message. He got 10% off code from Fanjoy, etc, etc. I'm going to let you know that Jake Paul did not hack you at all. Um, most of these um, websites integrate the Facebook API, which therefore can grab your session that you are currently ha um, that you currently have on your machine and it will find your user ID that user ID is passed to an aut another automated script which the script then in turn sends you an automated message from their database showing the items you had and saying oh do you want a 10% off code now there could be another condition to the script where if you're only ordering a certain amount they won't give you the offer code um, and maybe it won't even automate and give you any message at all on Facebook but it's an automated thing as soon as you leave the website you'll get the message because that's on close it will do it it'll run a script and you will get that message it will happen to anyone the only time this will not happen is if you kill your sessions on Facebook completely on the web browser and this will happen on mobile browsers it will happen on computer browsers anything anything with Facebook logged in it's not a hack it's an API trick and it's nothing bad about it it's just marketing every new enough every company I've known um, so for example you have shopping uh, catalog uh, things and you go on their website you put stuff in their catalog trolley or whatever and you leave that site and you'll get an email saying oh have you left something it's automated it's all automated the only difference is it's on Facebook and it they don't know much about you um, they can find out your name your user ID that's about it um, anything you've put public on your profile they could probably find out using the API without even you authorizing that to happen so if you don't really want much to happen don't put stuff on Facebook <laughs> But I'm not a fan of Jake Paul, so don't think I'm bashing on this girl. Don't think I'm saying, oh, Jake Paul's fantastic. He's not. Um, and I'd like to thank Keemstar um, for bringing this video to my attention because I watch Drama Alert every time he uploads because it's quite funny to see what's going on in the YouTube world. I've been on YouTube as long as he has. On, I guess he's been on different accounts. I've been on different accounts as well. So... Um, He's been on eight years. I'm on seven years this year. Um, I'll be on eight years next year. So, um, but yeah, you weren't hacked. Sorry to say. Um, I don't know if you knew about the API. I don't know whether you had any knowledge of that's what it does, or what people can do. But yes, they can do it, and. It's not, well, unless Facebook can, I was just about to say not anything they can do, unless Facebook crack down on it, um, then it's going to keep on happening to anyone. It's not a hack. Jake Paul has got no password, nothing to you. Um, so, anyway, that's my little rant on today's video. I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Sign our, oh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a dislike if you didn't. I don't care. Hit that bell icon to get every video notification. I'll see you later. Sonora. Bye.